IT is transparently clear to anyone who has followed the career of Boris de Feffel Johnson that his latest wizard wheeze of proposing a tangible link between Scotland and Northern Ireland is merely a red herring designed by a sly and manipulative obfuscato. PM pushes ahead with £20 billion road tunnel for Irish Sea, The Herald, February 11. Whilst critics line up to question the outrageous potential cost of a road tunnel or bridge or label it a vanity project, the Prime Minister will remain wholly unperturbed by any fuss he has unearthed. Forget the millions of tons of munitions or radioactive waste that would have to be negotiated, as well as the sheer logistical nightmare that any such undertaking would involve. The purpose of his deception is to provide the public with Mr Johnson's usual measure of bread and circuses, a triumph for propaganda over reality and a useful distraction from the actuality of Brexit as witnessed by Michael Gove's admission that businesses will suffer border checks when trading with the EU next year. Mr Johnson will think nothing of spaffing a few million pounds up the wall, Chris Grayling style, on ludicrous feasibility studies for an Irish Sea Link knowing that his chums will carry these out and will be beneficiaries of his deliberate chicanery. As Mayor of London, he was responsible for wasting £53 million on the London Garden Bridge project but, as ever, he denied culpability and arrogantly refused to be held accountable or show any concern for a massive waste of public funds. Like President Trump's much-vaunted proposed wall with Mexico, the Prime Minister realises that appearances are everything and it is prudent to feed the media with headlines that sidetrack them and the public from more sinister or negative developments in government. There will never be an HS2 link to Scotland nor a tunnel or bridge between Scotland and Ireland. That will never stop the Machiavellian Mr Johnson and his cohorts from making solemn promises that there will be. Owen Kelly, Sterling by far the best economic and political analysis of the Irish Bridge suggestion is Stephen Camilly's cartoon, The Herald, February 11. Little else needs to be said. Sorry, Katrina Stewart, your article came second, Johnson Scotland Ireland Bridge is a distraction, The Herald, February 11. The Johnston slash Cummings diversionary tactic to ensure that the jocks have something to argue about when the big boys announce that they will be spending £106 billion plus on the HS2 project to make the London to Manchester route a bit faster. Far from geographically rebalancing the economy, HS2 encourages yet again the centrality of London. As for it reaching Scotland, forget it. Our financial contribution will, of course, not be forgotten. The big boys in number 10 will have calculated that they can spin the fantasy Irish bridge story for a few for more on this story, visit the news article link.